I work at a recently built city parking garage and transit hub. And late at night, it is my job to lock everything up until the morning and patrol the dark building alone with just a radio linked to the local police department. It's a very simple procedure that takes maybe 10 minutes to lock up everything with 15 minute walkthroughs every hour. At roughly 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm very tired from my 8 hour shift and with 4 more hours to go, I drag myself through the security center, which is just fancy talk for a room with a chair and monitors, and begin my ascent through the ramps. I listen to my footsteps echo and realize it seemed quieter than usual. I could smell the typical putrid stench of the city, of the fermenting feces in the trash can from the numerous homeless from the area using the trash bins as restrooms. We had to lock down the public bathrooms to prevent damage, theft, vandalism, and most importantly, deaths from people overdosing in the middle of the night. I finally got to the top floor and summoned the elevator. I placed my forehead against the door, feeling the cold air rushing up through the elevator shaft as it reaches my floor with a satisfying ding. I stepped on, got to the ground floor, and continued back to the office. I fling the door open and head inside running for the cold office room and using my magnet fob to unlock the door. The door usually gets hung up a little, so with a swift heel, I slam it shut and make my way to my desk. The computer that runs the cameras is worthy of being called ancient. I'm pretty sure that they don't even make them anymore. Not to mention that the internet the cameras run off of is so slow that they take forever to update. So I sat there with my new favorite pastime, watching myself walk around with a tremendous amount of lag. I sat there watching myself trudge on through the stupidly hot weather. I laughed to myself as I watch my head land against the cold steel of the top floor elevator doors. As the doors open and the light floods the area around me, my blood went ice cold. There was a man standing no more than six feet away, just staring at me. As I entered the elevator, he headed for the stairs, already vaulting down the steps. My heart races as I watch each camera as he hits each floor I hit. The fourth. The third. Almost seamlessly, he's keeping perfect time with the elevator. My ears begin to boil as I feel all the blood rush to my head. I'm having a hard time breathing. I watch as the elevator doors close and he begins following me again, getting closer and closer after each turn of the corner. I watch as I fling open the door and he catches it, heading in right behind me. My heart pounding in my eardrums. He's inside the building. I keep watching, knowing I should look away. I can't find him. Then, I see why. I kick the door shut in his face which means 
I search the room. I eventually discover it's just me in there. I radio for a few officers to come in, and they sweep the building, then give me a slap on the wrist for not paying attention, and left. The rest of the night, I stayed in that room. I watched each camera digitally, but I never saw him again. Now, Every time I go to work, I can never shake the feeling I'm being watched. Author's Note The reason this sounds like an actual event is because it actually happened when I was a college student. The security was provided through my university's police department that hired students. It was minimum wage, but they worked around class hours. We never did find that creepy ninja hobo either.